and yeah, let's get started. Hi, everyone. A uh, very warm welcome to this uh, Asia School of Business and 30% Club Malaysia Speed Mentoring event. Uh, seeing all of you gathered here tonight is really, really uplifting uh, because, you know, there are so many webinars out there and yet you chose to make time and that's really telling how driven each of you are. My name is Kritika. I'm from Asia School of Business. Uh, it takes great pleasure to be your MC for tonight. And I just want to take a moment. There's a whole deal of action that happens, you know, uh, at the back end in Zoom rooms, right? So allow me to also introduce the rest of the hosting team. From ASB, we have Dr. Sean Ferguson, Sangeeta, Fazila, and Hamid. And Hamid and Fazila will make sure that we fly in and out of Zoom room safely, yeah? And from 30% Club, we've got Marzida, Raj, Jacinta, Nadia, and Chi Zhang with us here tonight. I must say that uh, they've been the most efficient, most enjoyable partners to work with. Yeah. So let me let me just get started by um, doing a few housekeeping announcements. Yeah. Uh, I think it's really important that we get to know each of you. So can you all rename your your Zoom participant names with your full name, please? Just type that out because we see some numbers and whatnot. Uh, also, you've been announced the session is being recorded. Uh, the breakout rooms won't be, but at least the beginning and the end of the session is recorded. Do turn on your cameras because we would love to see you. And it's going to be much more livelier and engaging, right, if, if you see your cameras on. And this is speed mentoring, so we're going to be mindful of time. Uh, let's also give everyone a chance to speak. And if you're not speaking, please mute yourself. So um, one more thing, uh, there is a chat box, right? Please feel free to you know, say hi, drop your LinkedIn address, maybe you know, comments and questions and whatnot. Now, before we get started, can we, can we all do a photograph, please? You know, turn on your cameras, smile, and I'll have Hamid here taking our photos um, because we all look fresh and nice right now. <laughs> we don't wanna wait until the end of the show. So, can we, can we all do that? Switch on your cameras and turn on the gallery view so that we can see everyone. Awesome. Are we good, Hamid? Can we do a one, two, three smile on my cue? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's do a photo first. One, two, three, click. And do you have a few pages here, right? Wow, everyone is smiling nice Kutiga, and fast. can you get rid of the, um, the uh, screen uh, so you can um, put everybody on one page? Is that possible? Yeah. Hamid, can you do that for me? I think uh, Fazila needs to unchair first. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, also, I, I'm having some issues uh, with my screen. I think it just got frozen. <laughs> can someone help? Uh, also to, okay. yeah. I, I'm taking the photos as well. Okay, let's redo this again, all right? Sorry. One, two, three, smile. Hey, could you give me a minute also? I'd like to give the photo too. Uh, my internet <laughs> is a bit slow. Oh, Francis, okay. come online. I uh, right, can't no see problem. your beautiful face if you're there. No problem. Why don't you all take the time until uh, Dr. Ifat comes on, on board? Uh, can you all say hi in the chat? and leave your names, any comments, best wishes, anything. How many people do we have here? We've got 56 of us now. Awesome. Not bad. Pages awesome. and pages, two pages. Very nice. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good enough. Okay, Dr. Ifat just arrived from some previous appointment. She's, she's based in Pakistan, by the way. So let's give her a minute. Wow. All right. Hi, everyone. Nice to actually meet you too, Ashwarya. Hi, Ega. Angelina. Angelina is going to be one of our mentors. Yes, I'm up. Awesome. Where do we? Oh, lovely. Nice to nice to meet you, Dr. Ifat. Same All here. Right. Same here. How are you? We're good. Okay, let's let's do this again. Yeah. One, two, 
three smiles. Okay, that's the first page for me. Second page, one, two, three, smile. Okay, give me a minute. I need to paste it somewhere <laughs> so that I don't lose mm -hmm. what I captured. Has anyone else also taken the picture? Yes, I have. I, I have too. I'll send them to right. you. Okay, awesome. All right, I think we've got that out of the way. So, all right, just a little bit about ASB. I just wanted to share that we are a leading business school set up by our central bank here in Malaysia, Bank Negara Malaysia. And this is in collaboration with MIT Sloan School of Management. Um, Dr. Sean later would be expanding more on what we do. So I won't take much of uh, time. Let me invite Marzida from 30% Club. Uh, she has much to share about uh, the 30% Club as a platform. Uh, let me hand it over to her. Marzida, over to you. Are you here? Yes. Sorry. Yes, I'm here. Thank you very much. Uh, I will not spend too much time. Hi, everyone. This is Marzida. Uh, I am uh, from the 30% Club, along with some of my colleagues here. You can see Raj with a green, bright green background. And I think I should have two more colleagues with me as well, Nadia and Chi Singh. So I'm not sure whether they've already uh, come uh, or, you know, on stream. So this is basically just a short introduction on 30% Club. And I know Angelina, are you a member of the 30% Club or volunteer? I am, 30% Club. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right, so so sure, she's going to keep me in check here, you know. So anyway, here I go. Uh, next slide, please. So I'm not sure whether, um, you know, uh, some of you uh, have heard or have come across 30% Club. Uh, it is actually founded in the UK in 2010. So basically what it is, is actually a business-like campaign. Uh, the idea is to promote diversity, equity and inclusion, uh, focusing on gender uh, diversity, actually. So it's about building an ecosystem where we, we build a platform uh, for uh, companies to come together to actually campaign for more women to sit on boards. So since 2010, we've had uh, many international chapters that has been set up you know, across the world, uh, Malaysia in 2015, and then we have Hong Kong as well, and the rest of the other countries. I think more uh, are coming on board as well. Uh, next page, please. So our global mission is actually a minimum of 30% representation of women on all boards as well as C-suites globally. So this is something that we have uh, coined this uh, sometime uh, uh, early uh, last year, uh, where we have added the fact that we do need to start building this pipeline even earlier than at the board level. So that's the reason why we've added the C-suites. So our purpose is to uh, focus more on improving the gender balance on boards of companies. So it is supported by three pillars. One is the first pillar is the Activate, which is about uh, getting chairs and CEOs of companies to come and join us as corporate members. And the second pillar is about the influencing, uh, you know, engaging the wider stakeholders to come and support our campaign. And number three is uh, why we're here today is that, or tonight is actually about enabling uh, future leaders. So not just women. So in this case, it's both, both genders. Uh, next slide, please. Global standing, uh, if you notice here, uh, this is actually a Malaysian slide. That's the reason why Malaysia is actually highlighted in uh, blue. Across all public listed companies, uh, we're only represented at about 17.0% women-wise, I mean. Uh, top 100 public listed companies, about 25.5. And Hong Kong, Angelina told me uh, they're at 13.4%. So I'm not that too far, far off. Don't get far. Hopeless. We need to get that up. We're working on it. Yeah, what happened to Hong Kong? Come on. <laughs> Hong Kong, I mean, UK is doing pretty well. Uh, you look yep. at Australia, they're doing pretty well. Uh, the rest of the other countries, uh, you know, not too bad. Canada, US is there. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a long way to go. Why 30%? Because scientifically, I think 30% is what you need to have that critical mass is when you have that tipping point. Obviously, we want to uh, aim more than 30%, uh, at least 50-50, uh, uh, but that's something that we will uh, you know, need to uh, put in more work on. Next slide. Our ask, so what we would do is actually we invite public listed as well as global companies uh, to join as corporate members and partners of 30% Club and become a part of a business community to further advance our campaign and mission. 
what do we ask them to do is actually advocate, uh, lead by example, share best practices, support our events, yeah, become our partners, be involved. Uh, and, uh, you know, this collaboration with uh, Asia School of Business is actually one uh, of the many collaboration that partnerships that we have with uh, many other companies. Next. Uh, for the Pesan Club Malaysia, so here are our members and partners. We're quite proud of our achievement actually because we really started the uh, campaign to recruit corporate members starting early this year. Uh, because previously we, we didn't um, you know, um, have this campaign, it's more around individual advocates and champions. So since early this year, we've managed to secure you know, more than 30, uh, 27 plus uh, companies to come and join us on board. And uh, we have, I think, more uh, coming our way. So almost every month, we will have two or three companies uh, joining us. So uh, we, we're really, really happy to do this. And some of you may recognize these logos because some of you uh, would have been invited, uh, you know, because uh, your company or your companies are members of, uh, of the Deep Sand Club. Uh, we hope more members uh, could join us and more, um, I think, mentees from other companies will join us in future speed mentoring uh, event. Next, please. Our engagement model, we have actually widened the narrative to not just focus on gender, but the total uh, package of diversity, equity and inclusion. Sustainability as well, because it's really part of the whole ESG model, including governance. Uh, how do we um, you know, uh, participate uh, the corporate members through various avenues? If you can see here, I shall not read them out. So, you know, so we hope that you can follow our Twitter and LinkedIn and actually um, you know, uh, keep abreast of our developments and future events. Next slide. So this is an example of a calendar of events. If you notice here, right in the middle uh, would be our education pillar. We've got Herrick Watt University partnership with Asia School of Business, Malaysian Institute of Corporate Governance, and LEAP Women. So we're especially proud with the uh, you know, universities, and then we hope to bring on more universities to uh, collaborate with us. Next slide. Uh, we had a very successful and exciting virtual speed mentoring uh, during the International Women's Day in March early this year. Uh, very, very successful, uh, very excited. Uh, I, I told ASB that this will be our signature event moving forward. So as a result, we, uh, so this is going to be our second one and we have been a third one uh, towards the quarter end of uh, this year. Next, please. Uh, this one, I, I will uh, leave it as is, we are ex extremely proud with our partnership with Asia School of Business. And uh, I think Sean at the end of this session will actually share uh, more good news about our partnership. So, I mean, I thank Asia School of Business for you know, coming on board, partnering with us. And we really look forward to more exciting activities and events uh, with Asia School of Business. Uh, next slide. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marzida. I You're think welcome. this is such an important platform and um, yeah, I must congratulate your good team for all the good work. And, you know, at ASB as a talent platform ourselves, right, we, we actually see a great deal of value um, in our symbiosis. And um, so we're really looking forward to all these creative joint events and, um, and more, right, coming up um, even after this event now. So, okay, let's get started. So what is, what is a glass ceiling, right? That's exactly what we're gonna discuss about. And um, so I thought, let me just pull up a dictionary um, meaning, you know, based on Oxford dictionary, it's, it's actually unacknowledged barriers that actually prevents one from advancing in their profession. So that's what we're actually discussing about. So these could be essentially opportunities that you see right in front of you, but you can't get to it even if you're suitable or competent or available. So another important fact is it's not just about women and minorities anymore, because when it was coined earlier, that's how it used to be, used to represent uh, discriminations against uh, women and minorities. But right now there are many different variations of it. And especially in the millennial age, uh, age workplace, right? Things are quite different. So I was just wondering, you know, if, you know, how exactly you have been affected uh, have you ever become a victim of glass ceiling? So I 
sort of put up a few questions if I can get Hamid to show a quick poll. And I want to know how your glass feeling looks like. What has been your barrier to professional success? Hamid, can you help me? Or are you still frozen? Okay, great. Do you see the quick poll? So just 30 seconds for you to answer this. Uh, can you let me know how does your glass ceiling look like? Just choose any one of those, or if it doesn't matter to you, you know, you have never had any of these kind of discriminations, just choose none of the above, right? And there is, okay, wow, there's, okay, time check. All right. Awesome. All right. I think it's about 30 seconds. Shall we end the poll now, please? Yeah. Okay, let's let's share the results. Okay, so it looks like ethnicity uh, barriers are quite a lot. Some of you have no issues. That's really good, awesome. But in any case, there are still some sort of uh, worrying and disturbing um, discriminations like cronyism and nepotism, which takes a lot more to uh, break and shatter. So, you know, looking, looking at this poll, right? So it's quite evident that we still need some work to be done in certain areas. And so what we did was we thought of lining up people who have actually teared down these kind of uh, walls and glass ceilings and, you know, get them to share how they actually went through that journey and how they've become who they are right now. So we've lined up four outstanding individuals who are going to be your mentors for this session. Um, they're going to be sharing raw personal stories and uh, real life insights. Let me let me do a very quick uh, round of intro. So allow me to start with Angelina Kwan. So she's from Hong Kong, highly sought after international leader who sits on several boards. Uh, she's been in various directorate positions, um, mostly in digital asset exchanges. Uh, she's been with the Hong Kong uh, Securities Commission for a bit. Are we ending the poll, please? Sorry, yeah. Let me end the poll. Oh, my screen is frozen now. Are you all able to hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. So we've got, just give me a minute, one minute. Yeah, Let me, my screen has gone bonkers suddenly. Okay. Um, so yeah, Angelina has been with Hong Kong Stock Exchange and more, and she's also a popular international speaker at forums such as ADB, APEC, etc. On a personal level, she's an amazing, amazing person. Just about everyone I know who knows her loves her to bits, right? And uh, second up, we have um, Dr. Ifat Zafar from Pakistan. She's a co-founder and COO of a telemedicine startup in Pakistan. She's the winner of MIT Elevate prize and was recently featured in Microsoft for Africa 2020 for women-led success stories in South Asia. She's also a prominent speaker in prestigious platforms such as World Bank, TEDx, etc. Such an inspiring profile and, and I'm sure you'll love to hear from her. And I'm also super thrilled to introduce my dearest colleague in the capacity of a mentor here. She's Sangita Menon. She's a former scientist based in Europe and she's been managing 10 countries across Europe and Asia. She sits on several international boards as well. Former director of Lean-In in Malaysia and a strong DENI and STEM advocate. She's also a mentee for the 30%, uh, she was a mentee for, from the 30% club previously. So maybe, you know, you could follow suit on her track. Super lucky to have her at ASP as an action le learning director. And I also take great pride in introducing Zarif, our male mentor for the day. And reading his profile is nothing short of an inspirational masterclass, right? He's truly, specially able ninja like has countless awards, including from Prime Minister of Malaysia uh, for being a national youth icon for his humanitarian relief and social action advocacy. Uh, he's also currently on board of directors of uh, Malaysian Food Bank, and he's also a volunteer at UNICEF. Uh, you must check out his YouTube channel. He's got lots of interesting adventures um, he goes on. Okay, now uh, I think let's get to the main bit of this event. Uh, we have pre-assigned 
four breakout rooms for you. So on my queue, Hamid and Fazila will be um, breaking all of you into these rooms and that will be facilitated in each room, yeah? Uh, our facilitators are Rain, Vivian, Crystal and Michelle from Asia School of Business and they'll be assisting with like the overall discussion and timekeeping in each of the room. Your group of mentees and your facilitator will stay put. It's just the facilitators are gonna you know, uh, visit you for sharing. So you'll get time with each of the mentor, uh, all four mentors, and we'll take about an hour. And remember, this is about speed mentoring. So maximize your time, ask good questions. You've got 15 minutes each with, uh, uh, with the mentor. Um, and when you fly back into the main room, right, uh, we will invite 15 mentees to reflect and share your learnings. So what, what we ask you to do now before you break out, um, can you please like, you know, nominate yourself to do these reflections? Uh, you can do so by putting up your name in the chat. So we'll, when we come back, I'll call you in the order that you have listed for, for the sharing, 15 of you only. So there are only 15 spots, fastest finger first. So quickly nominate your names. And I don't see any, anything in the chat. Am I seeing? Any names, please? I'll be happy to go. Chitra says. You got yes. a name already. Yay. Awesome. Let's choose. All right, Vittoro. Awesome. 15 people, please. Yes. Vinto, quality. If you've been hesitant to speak at public forums and want to push the envelope, this is your chance. Come on, come on, come on. A few more. Do we have 15? Come on, already? get out of your comfort zone, everyone. Very good. This is what we're yes. talking breaking the glass ceiling. Exactly. Okay. I can't see the screen, so somebody Azina, please. Azina, uh, Wang Wenzi, uh, okay. Ashrira. God, I'm sorry for mentioning everybody's names. Weezy. Ah, okay. Weezy. Weezy, nice to meet you. All right. Do we have 15 there? Do we? Five more. Okay. Oh. All right. Come on. Five more. Do we have... Come on. Yes, yeah, somebody says me. Volunteer. Michelle, all right. All right. Four more, I guess. Last Push chance. that envelope. Nadra, nice to meet you. All Nadira. Right. Time check. It's. Nanlin. Two, okay, two more, two more. Two more, two more. Last oh, one. Last one. Okay. Cool. Lean. Okay. Last one. All right. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> awesome work. Very good job, all of you. This is nice, right? You don't need any visa or plane ticket to fly in here. Okay. Awesome. 53, 54. Okay, do we have everyone back in the room, Hamid? Not enough time, Katiga. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I think we're gonna have to do individual sessions next round. And we have it in the works. We were hooking up some ideas. Definitely, we need, we, we need one session per mentor. So much, this was just, Probably a teaser. This, or this feels like such a tease. <laughs> but I want to learn from everybody else too. I mean, we all share. That's the fun part. Yeah. Everybody has a view. So we, we hear you. We hear you. Certainly coming up. Wait and watch. Yeah, we'll have you all back. So I believe all of you had an outrageously good time, including the mentors, as I see. Um, uh, I'm sure all of you got inspired. I did. I've picked up a few things like Dr. Ifat said, you know, you have to be your own ray of light. It's such a beautiful sentence. And then Angelina. That's cool. Angelina has uh, one dream, one team to inspire her people. And uh, Sangeeta said, you know, like how your flaw can be your superpower. Uh, flaw, yeah, not flaw. And then how to be limitless. This is what I learned from Zarif. Ooh, I yeah? like that. And, and I think uh, he has a lot more fangirls from our team now. <laughs> okay, now let's have the mentees who all volunteered to share earlier. All of you had uh, put up your names, right? We've got 15 people, I think 14, uh, is it 14? Yeah, I think 15th spot is up for grabs. So um, you've got 
30 seconds to share one takeaway. Yeah, 30 seconds, you are uh, upping the pressure now. So once you're done, uh, call out the next person and then we can, uh, we can follow the list in the chat. So time check, is it uh, 9.37 now? Okay, let's start now, right now. Yeah, I think Chitra is the first person to go. Can we have Chitra? Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. All right, my 30 seconds is gonna go very fast. So I'm a doctor and I'm doing my MBA right now and I'm very lost in my life. And I think the one thing that I heard across the board from everybody was that basically, well, whatever you do, you got to stay true to yourself. So whether it's your principles, whether it's the values that you want to live by, uh, whether it's a pain point that you've personally experienced, the point is to do something that you love. You know, Ikigai, as um, mentioned earlier, uh, like with Angelina, she mentioned how she stuck to her guns, even though there were guys, nine guys, sort of uh, pushing their opinions on her. Everyone had the same thing. It was always coming back to stick to what you love, stick to what you want to do good with, and stick to your guns. Thank you. That's 30 seconds. And finish right? your degree. Yes. <laughs> Vittorio. And I'm, I'm next. Hi, I'm uh, Vittorio. Um, probably the, the takeaway from uh, actually most of the, the mentors uh, is, uh, is about the enabling uh, environment uh, uh, or, the, or the fair go said in, in Australian terms. Um, the, the fact that it's, uh, it's important for, for each one of us to give ourselves uh, the ability to do things, the, the authorization to do, to do things. Um, and that also applies when uh, in our role as, uh, as parents uh, or family members, uh, helping our, our children and relatives, uh, but especially as uh, employers and managers uh, to ensure that we give uh, opportunities uh, to, to people to excel uh, and develop uh, themselves. That's my takeaway. Next, Kola Wol. I hope I got that right. Oh, okay, Th thank you very much. It was a super uh, interesting session. So uh, I think that's my 40 second is going. But then I learned that you have to be human, be imperfectly perfect. And more importantly, also across all the, um, uh, the mentors, their discussion is that it's not about the career ceiling or the intellectual ceiling that we got to break. The physical ceiling also matters. So I learned from uh, Dr. Sajid that you should go ahead for that swimming, learn those things you've not learned. Uh, so and that maybe you want to ask, well, if you get a chance to buy a property, Angelina said I should go for it. I will definitely go for it. Thank you. Excellent. Minpo. Hi everyone, I'm Mimpo and for me, what I have learned and take, uh, take away is to be courageous uh, to us and act is the first step to break glass ceiling and also to be persistent on what you have believed and continue doing it. That's all for me. Gina. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Sheena from Synergy Thoughts team. So my takeaway for today is from, uh, I think almost all the um, mentors said the same thing. So you want to break the ceiling. So you have to believe in yourself first. So whenever you believe in yourself, you know, have a higher dreams and work towards it and achieve whatever you want. So along the way, you will be facing a lot of challenges. So um, you should not take it to your thing and thinking too much about it. Just you have to learn to ignore certain things like that, you know, sometimes it's negativity will be coming. Don't, don't, uh, nothing should hold on your achievements. So just ignore and move on. You can achieve whatever you want to. That's all from me. Thank you. Anuradha. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Anu. Um... Anu, you're muted. Am I audible now? Yes, but you muted again. <laughs> okay. I, think I hope, I I hope it doesn't happen again. Yeah, no worries. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Anu, and uh, I'm from Synergy Asia. I'm a part of Raj's team as well. And uh, we are a diversity recruitment firm. And this is one topic which is really close to our heart. And it's, it's been a very, um, I think I'm very privileged to be learning firsthand from the people who had the courage to follow their dreams. And uh, my biggest takeaway from today's session would be uh, you are your biggest challenge. Uh, you know, as Zarif said, uh, that really makes a lot of sense. And uh, if you have the courage to follow your dreams, nothing can stop, stop you. And uh, as Angelina said, uh, food bridges boundaries. I think I love that. 
so people who can eat together will stay together. That's another good thing that uh, I got to know. And uh, from Dr. Ifat, I think another good takeaway was that if you stick to your values and be true to yourself, you can achieve what you aim to achieve. Uh, thank you. I don't Sorry, <laughs> busy right now. Anyway, uh, I thank you very much for all those uh, awesome mentor. Uh, just quick takeaway, uh, we can be awesome. If you are not there yet, it's okay. Uh, sooner or later, just uh, try very, very hard to believe in yourself and uh, achieve that dream that you want. I think that's all, thanks. Okay, next. Sorry, I lost the page. Sure. Oh, yeah. Aishwarya. Hi, everyone. So my name is Aishwarya. Um, I actually have a mechanical engineering background and currently I'm actually venturing more into business development. So there are a lot of uh, virtual glass ceilings or even glass ceilings that I have not recognized until today's mentor mentoring program. I find it very, very useful. One of the key takeaways would definitely be um, if you do not try, you will never know. And I think that is one thing I really, Angela mentioned, something I really want to uh, push towards any opportunity that I'm getting because I do not want to look back, you know, 10, 20 years down the road and then regret some opportunities. And we're not, I understand also that we're not perfect, but uh, we keep believing in ourselves, improving, and then eventually we will achieve what we are set to achieve. Thank you. Easy. Hi, I'm VZ from AXA Affin GI. Right, I thought myself I have broke the glass ceiling when I registered for it and I volunteered myself. But after I listened to Dr. Effat, I think I discovered more glass ceiling. <laughs> no, because uh, we do not have a lot of enabling factors as pointed out by Zarif, but we need to build that environment for our next generation, right? I also got it from Seconda that we have to accept our imperfection as a complete self, right? And lastly, uh, Zavi say something that very good, okay? Replace the expectation with gratitude. Thank you, Aslina. Mm -hmm. Aslina, are you there? Oh, I think Azlina had to go off because uh, something urgent came up and she had to attend to a call. No problem. We move to Michelle. Hi, Michelle. I'm from Air Asia. So I've actually from all the mentors, um, I got one key message, which is go for it. So firstly, it's from Sangeeta. She talked about Kintsugi, which is, you know, everyone is flawed, right? But it shouldn't stop you. And it leads me next to Ikigai uh, by Zarif. He talked about finding your purpose, know what you want to do. And then next thing is, even though you have so many things going on, you can compartmentalize your day, like what uh, Dr. Ifat actually shared. You know, some days you can focus on working, busting out that thesis, the next day being a mom, so on and so forth. And lastly, even if you have so many things to do, you should still go out of your comfort zone, even if it means going for wakeboarding or eating durian. Yes or volunteering to share your uh, thoughts in this session. So I got that from Angelina. Thank you. And Nadira. Hi, good evening, everyone. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank you to 50% uh, Women Club and Asian Business School for initiating this very insightful uh, session for us tonight. So what uh, some of the insightful tips that I can get from tonight's session is, first of all, uh, we need to believe on ourselves because sometimes when uh, we try to do something different or something challenges in ourselves, we tend to uh, like uh, become uh, influenced by the, uh, by the societal perception, by the gender bias. So I think that for tonight, we need to have like a, a high curiosity to see what will our future uh, in 10 years later, for example, like the hard work that we will did today, uh, our 10 years later will thank us today, what we did. So I feel uh, so grateful to meet all the great mentors for tonight and all the mentors. So thank you so much for this session. Thank you. I think I'm also going to call Nadira because she's also mentioned here. So it's also Nadira and Nadira. Nadira, go. Hello. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Nadira. I'm from Forest Interactive. Um, thank you to all the mentors for sharing their stories today. Um, what I learned from today is that I know I tend to get really anxious starting my day. 
Um, so I guess what I've learned today again and again is that chiming off Sheena's and also um, Michelle's points is to empower others, like you need to also empower yourself first. Um, one of the things that Sangeeta mentioned is that, you know, you have to accept that you're human, you're flawed, and then be like the kintsugi, like um, be perfectly imperfect. And then also um, to get through those barriers, you need to dive into all the discomfort and like the negative emotions that, um, that's been burying you. And also something that I took from Zarif's session was um, the good thing and the bad thing, you never know. So you just don't wallow in the negativity. You take steps to make sure that you just go with the flow. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Nice. Nan Lin. Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Nen. I'm also from Forest Interactive. So I really loved and enjoyed uh, today's session from all of the mentors as well. Uh, my two biggest takeaways, I would say, and the ones that I really resonated with uh, is uh, something that Zarif mentioned as well, which is um, how a lot of times uh, we are our biggest barriers. So that is something that I really resonate with because yeah, we really are our biggest barrier. We really have to fight the hardest with ourselves to overcome a lot of challenges a lot of problems. Um, another thing that I really liked was that uh, we shouldn't be afraid to fail. Uh, that's something that I'm learning to embrace as well, embracing failure. Uh, I always tell myself now and also tell people that it's okay if you fail as long as you try. Uh, because through failure, it's how you learn and how you be better next time. So those are the top two things. Uh, I also really appreciated my uh, the session with Sangeeta as well. Uh, she gave really good insights to one of the questions that I asked about um, reporting uh, on productivity levels and stuff like that at work. So yeah, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, next after me is Celine. Hi everyone, thank you so much. I mean, um, Celine here from uh, Asia School of Business, currently taking master. Um, I mean, MBA. So, really, first of all, really thank you so much uh, for all the awesome sharing. And <laughs> as what we MBA students always agree with all whatever reflections that you have mentioned. So, I'm just trying to emphasize on two things that I, I, um, I have taken away. One thing is focus. Second thing is um, stop telling ourselves like, any reason or excuses. Just do it. Because there is nothing that we cannot achieve and we are the biggest barrier. And, but then the thing is like, uh, from this reflection, I, uh, for me, I would say that knowing this like, is e easy, but for me, the difficult part is about implementing. So I guess uh, support system and also knowing when to ask for help is uh, important here. Yeah, that would from me, thank you. Awesome. Do we have another second Nadira here? Or was it just a mistake? Anyone wants to share? Last spot, going once, going twice, going thrice. I don't think there's any more time. Uh, let's move on to the mentors, yeah? Let's hear from them as well as to, you know, what kind of experiences they had with all of you. So may I invite um, Angelina to go first and then followed by Dr. Ifat, Sangeeta and Zarif. You have one minute each. Just say what you want to say. Please share. Well, thank you all tonight um, for being a great um, team uh, for us to all break glass ceilings. And um, thank you for sharing your candor and asking questions um, and um, sharing your views. So next time we're going to have reverse mentoring. Um, and in fact, that is a, a, a event that we do in Hong Kong, our uh, reverse mentoring. So, um, hey, I want to learn from you guys too. So, um, but thank you. And for all the questions that you had, um, they were really, really good. So please do something tomorrow and challenge your comfort zone. Break that glass ceiling for yourself. Uh, be it, for those of you who don't eat durian, go please have a piece of durian. If you haven't skateboarded, go skateboard or do something that you haven't done. Um, even if you're in your home, go do 10 sit-ups. Um, because you probably haven't done it in a long time. So, <laughs> thank you. Dr. Ifat? I, I, th I think I just love just seconding uh, the, the last mentor. Uh, we talked a lot about gender-based uh, discrimination. We talked a lot about income-based uh, glass ceiling. I, th I think sometimes it's our own personalities which can become glass ceiling. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think something which I didn't really talk about, uh, maybe didn't get a chance to talk about in the sessions. A lot of us are introverts. I am an introvert. We, speaking doesn't come naturally to us. We're really shy. We don't want to open up in meetings or we're, we're you know, just shy to open up in meetings. Um, a lot of us are introverts. We don't, um, we're not really comfortable in just, you know, coming out speaking. We're not those loud extroverts that a lot of us feel or, you know, how the society believes that if you have to be successful in a workplace, you have to be that extrovert. So get over it. Do something which is difficult for you. Calling people is, has always been very difficult for me. And I made it a challenge or a kind of a, you know, target for myself that I have to call five people every day who I yes. find it more difficult to call. Yes. Message with five people who you find most difficult to call. And, you know, uh, go into a meeting, barge into a meeting, speak out, ask a stupid question. Even if you think that, oh my God, what will people think of me of this question? Just do it. And I think the moment you start breaking your own barriers, you really realize the kind of potential you yourself have. So go for it. We have uh, Sangeeta speak. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think Angelina, you've been watching me. I, I haven't been doing t- 10 sit-ups a day for ever probably. And uh, <laughs> what really resonated, uh, Dr. Ifat, I, I, I'm, I'm also an introvert and I, I think in some of the sessions, I also explained that cycle that I've been through. Um, so actually I wanna reflect on some feedback I got today. Uh, which is that uh, at a meeting today, my manager told me that I, I, I'm trying to organize people's lives too much. But I'm going to take that uh, in, in this context, I, I'm going to do a little bit of that. I'm going to suggest that everyone here, you know, we are in the pandemic, the situation, what it is, it sucks, but let's make the best of it. Um, I, would, I would really suggest everyone here to, to you know, screenshot, uh, screenshot what you see in front of you in terms of all the names, you know, Go and go and uh, connect with the people on LinkedIn that that you know whose questions you liked, and maybe the questions that you didn't like. You know, try and get to know those individuals better, see where they're coming from. I would really encourage you to 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 you know to use these opportunities, these networking opportunities that we have to extend your network, to find out more about what people do, to engage with you know companies or or organizations or initiatives that that resonate with you. Um, you know, that's, that's really, it's, it might be out of the comfort zone of some people, but that's, it's really taking the first step and I'm giving everyone permission and I'm hurting you all and, 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 and suggesting that please do that. It will, it will, it will mean a lot, especially in these times. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Zarif? Yeah, first things first, thank you very much for putting this together. Um, had a lot of fun. Um, I guess what I can share at the end of the day, um, as I said earlier, uh, it's important to not live with fear. I think too many of us live in this whole uh, environment of fear, fear of failing, fear of being alone, um, fear of losing out. Um, so try and live without fear and, um, and live with purpose, of course. To me, it's, it's, it's really important for us to at least find our purpose in life. And uh, three things that I think I can share with you lastly uh, that I didn't manage to share is uh, for me, I think three of the most important things for me is truth, uh, compassion, and forbearance, right? So truth being uh, that, you know, we all have our truth to live, right? Nobody can tell you what your truth is. Nobody can tell you what your course of life is. Nobody knows what your destiny is. And it's only you who is in that position to uncover your truth and live your truth as well. So it's important to be sincere with yourself, sincere with your intentions, sincere with your motivation, sincere with your uh, goals as well. I think that's really important to be able to do that. And that really reflects on your life as well, because if you're sincere from the very beginning, all your actions from there on should be also led with truth and should lead you to your truth. Uh, Secondly would be compassion. As I said, um, it's important for us to live with love. Love is something that is really, really um, I think undervalued today. I think a lot of us, like we, we, we take for granted that whole sense of love, right? Like when was the last time you went to a person and said, I love you, right? When was the last time you went to your parent, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, right? Your, your partner, whatever it is, right? And said, I love you. And so live with love. And finally is forbearance, which also means discipline, and of course, in today's world, of course, you know, discipline is seen as a bad thing, but it actually isn't. 
I oh, I thoroughly believe now, and coming from someone who was extremely messy and extremely organic, or organic, right? Like I, I would just let things be. Um, I actually find right now it, it's really important to have the right practices, the right protocols, the right kind of knowledge for you to get the right results. Because at the end of the day, if you don't do the right things, you will not achieve the right results. And that, of course, is a huge, big ass statement. But, you know, you got to find that thing, find your things, find the protocols, find the, the things that give you uh, that sense of a structure as well, because this world can be crazy. And there's a lot of things you can't control out there. You can't control people's behavior. You can't control people's reactions. You can't control people's response to you. You can't control people's emotions and, and feelings towards you. But what you can control is yourself, right? The things that you do every day. You can control what time you wake up in the morning. You can control how you actually uh, clean up your room, right? You can control whether or not you eat more, more or less. You can control whether or not you pray or do meditation. These are the things that you can actually control. And these are the practices that I have found that actually helps kind of strengthen because we don't ever, we're, 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 we're thought about how to be a good lawyer, engineer, right? Um, a banker, whatever it is, but that art of being a good human being actually also requires practice and skill. So find that skill, find that practice, right? Don't forget, live with love, right? Live, uh, uh, you find your truth and obviously find your, uh, for, live forbearance and, and, and the discipline as well. That's all. Thanks. Wow. What a beautiful message. And, you know, Zarif, uh, as you said, right, love is something that has the highest energetic frequency. And, and you know, when you vibrate in love, the whole world would be better. And, and I can actually feel it in this virtual room right now, having goosebumps. And there's just so much of amazing inspirations. And, and, you know, it's really amazing that how much has been exchanged within an hour's time, right? Um, if we were to have a ses session each, I think we can end up writing books. So thank you for coming here tonight. And um, we've reserved a very interesting segment for the last. Let me invite Dr. Sean Ferguson. Uh, he's our associate dean. So he gives leadership to almost all aspects of our school, like the program admissions, corporate engagement, career development, marketing, and more. He's going to be speaking about ASB, and he's going to be sharing a very special announcement. So stay on. I know we're beyond time a little bit, but this won't take long. Yeah, over to you, Sean, if you're here. Sean, are you there? Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can see All you right. and hear you. All right. Well, hey, thank you guys very much um, for us. You know, I know we're up on up against it on, from a time standpoint, but um, this has been a fantastic session. And, you know, ASB, our mission is, a, you know, born out of a, a need for uh, world class talent in Malaysia, the region and the emerging world. And when you talk to economists about, like, how do you unlock, you know, the economic potential of, you um, you know, any society or group, it really comes down to making sure there's, you know, kind of gender equity with the with people's ability to contribute to the to the economic community of that particular environment. And so while our mission is born out of elevating talent in the region, I think, you know, making a, you know, a place and um, recognizing the need uh, and the value that, uh, you know, women bring to the, you know, um, to the economic uh, circle that I think is critical. And in the spirit of that, in partnership with the 30% Club, one of the things that we're offering are multiple scholarships. And so we, we have two MBA programs. We have a full-time MBA program. And uh, that program is really designed for people who want to really do a hard career switch and shift gears in a major way. We talk about uh, career change being on three dimensions, industry, function, and geography. And for individuals who are wanting to change two of those dimensions, usually they consider a full-time MBA program. And so with that program, what we're offering is one 100% fellowship uh, per year to uh, folks associated or affiliated with the 30% Club. Um, and then for our Working Professionals program, we're offering four uh, discount awards of 25% for that program. And typically working professional programs are geared towards high potential, um, 
mid-career potential uh, professionals who are, you know, ascending in their organization, but they're looking to build a broader view, managerial view of what's going on and, and, and increase the amount of impact that they have in their organization. And so these five awards are going to be offered next uh, in this upcoming admission cycle, uh, which you need to do uh, simply apply to the ASB MBA program of your choice by the deadline. Also, you'll have to answer a fellowship uh, discount award question in the application. Uh, all our applications are online and selected candidates will be uh, invited for an interview, uh, typically uh, six weeks after the deadline. And our application, uh, they open on August 27, 2001. Uh, and the deadline for these particular awards for the full-time uh, MBA award is uh, in the first round, October 21st. Uh, 2021. And for the working professionals, you have a little bit more time, March 15th, 2022. And so we're really excited about the opportunity to pull, uh, you know, from a pool of candidates who are aligned with the mission of the 30% club and the Asia School of Business. And so, um, you know, we, we really cherish this partnership with the 30% club and the work that Marzita, Raj, and the rest of the leadership team and partners have done. And, um, you know, we're hoping to see uh, many, uh, you know, start the pipeline from earlier portion of the career so that we'll have an even more robust pipeline uh, at the board level. So thank you very much, everyone. And we enjoyed having you here tonight and we look forward to future events. Thank you so much, Sean. All right, that brings us to the end of this uh, speed mentoring event. As Sangeeta had mentioned earlier, right? Um, we have a LinkedIn group to keep this community going. So do join this group. We will also post on um, upcoming events and such there. Um, and uh, the LinkedIn link is gonna be in this chat. You can copy it from there. I'll drop a word. How did you feel about this uh, session? You can drop it in the chat box as well. In parting, on behalf of ASB and 30% Club, I wanna uh, deeply appreciate our astounding mentors. And on behalf of ASB, I also want to Thank 30% uh, uh, for this exciting collaboration. Uh, congratulations to the uh, team that's hosting us today and, and all the facilitators, and especially to you all mentees who made time. I mean, it's 10 p.m. right now. I think we're a little bit behind schedule, but uh, yeah, you still stayed on. We, we still have uh, almost the same number of people who joined, which is really inspiring. And yeah, my parting message to you all is that, you know, we are here for inspiration. This is unprecedented times. There's, everyone is going through so much. So I just wanna say that, you know, remember if you're being roasted in life, you're bound to come out well done. So just persevere, be grateful and uh, stay connected. Uh, make sure you stay alive. Thank you for joining us, everyone.